Hello and welcome to Bad Hasbara, the most moral podcast in the world. My name is Matt Lieb. I am your host. Thank you guys so much for coming to another episode of Bad Hasbara. Um, just want to uh, give a shout out to all of y'all who have joined the subreddit r slash bad hasbara we are now at like like uh 37 thousand or no 100 3700 it's not that not not that big but uh we were at like 1500 like last week or something um i think we're getting to the point with that subreddit uh, that a, a good portion of them does not know it is a subreddit for a podcast so if you haven't joined and you watch this podcast, please go on there and, you know, be like, hey, um, th- this is this is also about a podcast because th- otherwise I just ended up accidentally being the mod of a of a, of a subreddit. And I don't want I don't want that in my life. Uh, that's why I gave the job to JP Ben, who's doing a great job. Shout out to him. Uh, and also I want to shout out my producer once again, Adam Levin. This dude is, he is doing everything for me. He's making my life so much easier. A lot of love to him. He's a wonderful, wonderful man. Um, And finally, please join the Patreon, patreon.com slash badhasbara. That's how I survive. Help me. Fuck. Um, Yeah, so please, please do that. Uh, And uh, just for those of you first time listening and you're coming here and you're like, what is this podcast? It's a podcast about Israeli propaganda. Uh, It's called Hasbara, which is loosely a word in Hebrew that means uh, explaining. And uh, it is my way of uh, trying to show how all that PR, all that shit that's making you crazy the last five months, you know, the last five months, how you've been like, I, I remember genocide was bad, and then uh, these guys went on TV and said genocide's good sometimes, and now I feel like I'm insane. Um, yes, they're trying to drive you insane. You are correct. You are normal. You're the normal one, just in case you thought differently. Speaking of normal, I'm going to be introducing our guest today. We have two great guests. First, we have a uh, hilarious comedian. You know him from his podcast, Out for Smokes, and his new special on YouTube, which is called, of course, I'm Normal, which he is, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, Mike Racine is here. It's good to be here. So good to have you here, man. How you How you been? How's life? I'm good. You know, I told you that I was, um, my, all my technology is like hidden around my house. Yeah, and I feel like you know because we're both parents. I think your kid's probably like six months younger than mine, mm-hmm. and I just it's just funny the idea of our kids getting older and us being like, "Who touched my ring light?" You know? <laughs> just yelling, <laughs> yelling. Yeah. Where, where's my merch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had pins. I, this is for my job. Yeah, I have to sell these on the road. Yeah. If I don't sell these on the road, then it, I can't make it. There's not enough gas to get to the next city. To feature for someone else. (laughs) God, our lives are great. I love our lives. Uh, You, uh, so you're in, you're in your, um, your, your house right now in uh, Brooklyn. Is that right? Yes, sir. What, uh, what's uh, your address? I'm just kidding. I'm just just trying to dox you early on. Um, But we have another guest also from uh, the wonderful land of Brooklyn. Ladies and gentlemen. Our guest, our second guest in the second seat, they are a songwriter, artist, and TikToker. Everyone, please welcome Blakely. Oh, you're muted, Blakely. Hello. Hey, there we go. How you doing? I'm good. I'm excited to be here. I'm stoked to have you. I'm stoked to have both of you on. Uh, you are both people who I have been, <clears throat> you know, following because ever I feel like ever since the you know October seventh, um, y'all have been making uh, 
number one, some great content. You, you know, you both have, uh, uh, you know, thoughts about uh, genocide that usually land on the side of uh, I'm against it, um, which is, I mean, pretty rare these days for anyone who's in entertainment at all. Um, and, uh, and Blakely, you have been doing uh, some videos that I've been absolutely loving uh, regarding uh, certain uh, like Hasbara tropes and uh, famous-ish Hasbaras like uh, like Michael Rappaport. <laughs> have you been uh, have you been getting like what 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 kind of like uh, backlash have you been getting for for any of this? Oh my gosh! <laughs> and lot. do you ever call him Michael Michael Crap in my ass? <laughs> yeah, have you tried that? Yeah. No, I usually just refer to him as a hoe. Yeah, okay. um, <laughs> that works. You can use that if you want. I, <clears throat> you could feel free. Yeah, I, I've gotten so many threats. Like yeah. I thought I used to get threats yeah. until I started getting threats from Zionists. Yeah. And um, Michael Rappaport, that hoe, <laughs> recently went on my TikTok and screen recorded my videos from a year ago because he thought he was doing a gotcha. So, and this was unprompted. I hadn't even mm -hmm. tweeted at him recently. And he thought he was doing a gotcha because I used to not talk about Israel and Palestine. So oh, like he I went see. back a year ago to my content and was like, look at that. He keeps calling me a race hustler, which I think is really funny. <laughs> 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 okay yeah so being against genocide hashtag race hustling and so then he's like look at this race hustler bitch but like when he calls me like names he'll like put little stars in them to like like blank them out and he's like oh okay never never i thought you meant like star it. emojis around it just to make no, it like, no, no. Sexy. like like uh like uh what do you call it like blanking it out or blurring it out right 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 yeah censoring, censoring it. it yeah yeah so and then he's like didn't talk about israel or gaza until after october 7th yeah bitch yeah because like he thought he was like getting me i'm like listen strawberry shortcake <laughs> i didn't talk about it before be as i've openly said in fact if he if anybody had watched my tiktok you can see my evolution in real time right like when october 7th first happened i was like horrified i was talking about it i didn't know anything about hamas didn't really know anything about the iof and you can see how I start like unpacking the propaganda throughout my videos as they go on. Right. And and I leave them up, even though at first I criticized Hamas, <clears throat> I condemned Hamas, I defended Israel at first, but I leave those up because I want people to see the evolution. Right. And, yeah. and now you owe Hamas an apology. That's I, right. I have. I have apologized. I'm trying to get <laughs> yeah. a I'm trying to get a green bandana, one of those green bandanas. <laughs> I did um, buy one on the street the other day. Yes. It was a regular bandana, but it was green. Yeah. <laughs> So, so like, I'm like, I don't understand why he thinks that this is a gotcha. Like, I've been totally open about, like, I didn't know anything. I was pretty ignorant about Israel and Palestine. Mm -hmm. And I since learned about it and then really dove into it and was reading about it constantly, listening to different authors, listening to different podcasts yeah. and trying to understand everything that I didn't know and kind of like catch up on what it really was. So I'm like, and then he just like responds with an insane laugh because he he really thinks that his like psychotic deranged laugh is like based. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's one of his bits is when he what is when he's like psycho on main. Yeah. And and, and he, he has this weird thing where um <clears throat> like before the seventh, um a lot of his humor was like self-deprecating. Like mm -hmm. he would uh, you know, uh, like he would post a video of himself getting a snowball thrown in his face. And now everyone just uses that video as like, you know, to get to get aspirational. him. Aspirational. Right. Yeah. It's aspirational now. Now everyone's trying to manifest that I IRL. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah. So like th the weird thing about him is that he 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 also like he's literally just talking shit about himself. Like he also was way less psycho. I mean, he was a weirdo, but he was way less psycho before the seventh. And he's just uh, 
he's literally just projecting onto you what happened with him, which is that the seventh happened and he decided to go full Zionist. He's, he's like, here's Blakely in 2022 eating a tuna sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, those are fucking his... mutt eating yeah. the fucking tuna fish sandwich. That's literally his only two bits, specifically against me, are you didn't talk about this before October seventh, and I'm like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, right. And, and yeah, yeah. Um, and and I learned, bitch. Like they're yeah. they're mad. They're mad when people learn. Yeah, which no, is they're funny yeah. because when this first happened, people kept saying to me, Zionists kept saying to me as I start talking about this. You're not Jewish. You're not Palestinian. You right. have nothing to say about this. Educate yourself. Educate yourself. And I'm like, I did educate myself. And now you guys are big mad about it. Maybe you well, should you, have been careful what you wish for. You read yeah, that kind book. of blew up in their faces, huh? <laughs> telling you to educate yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's his only bit. That and um, telling me that I should go to Ramallah, as he calls it, yeah. um, so that I can get killed by a Palestinian because I'm non-binary. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, no, they love that. They love to outsource yeah. um, like sex crimes to mm -hmm. the Hamas that lives in their head. And then mm -hmm. they like to get into detail about how exactly the, the sexual assault would happen, but how they would never. Right, you know, right, they're, right. They're, they're Which, normal and cool. Every single fucking accusation is a confession from these people. Mm -hmm. And going back to what you asked before, I yeah. can't tell you how many rape threats I've gotten from them. Yeah. Detailed fantasies that start out with, oh, if you were in Gaza, detailed novel about some sexual innuendo and fantasy that they have. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. wouldn't do that. That's what would happen to you from the Palestinians. I'm like, why are yeah. you so detailed about this? this yeah. And did, what, did you copy edit this? Like, how many drafts of this are there? You've been working on this rape fantasy for a while. Yes. Now. <laughs> but never. I would never do that. I would never right. do that, but I have some pretty good ideas of how exactly it would happen. Right. So that's happened to me a lot. Good. I've mm -hmm. gotten a lot of accusations, of course, of saying that I'm anti-Semitic, that I'm a piece of shit. I've been doxxed twice, mm -hmm. and I have had attacks from people that work in pretty prestigious places. Like when I went on their Twitter, I saw a guy who was attacking me. He kept calling me fat. Like, <laughs> and, and and then, and the only reason why it's relevant that he called me fat, because a lot of them call me names. You're ugly, you're this, you're that. Right, yeah. But it, it was only relevant to me that he kept calling me fat because I looked at his profile and it said that he was a health researcher at Columbia University. Yeah, that's okay. So that is a weird thing that I see a lot of now. It's like half of the, the Orwellian shit that I see from Zionists is just them saying like, sometimes kids deserve to die and then you like click on their profile and they're like a uh, like human rights lawyer for <laughs> <laughs> genocide inc and you're like what the fuck is happening why 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 do you have a job and you're not and why are you not anonymous that's yeah. the weirdest thing about it most of like the shit that these people say i'm like usually it's like a, an anonymous guy would say this out loud but yes. you gotta feel pretty comfortable yeah um but you've you've been doing this thing with uh, Michael Rappaport that I love, where you 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 make fun of one of his. Uh, he has like a regular series of videos that he does um, in which he walks around um, <laughs> Israel, just asking where the apartheid is. Um, and uh, I'll play a little bit of what that looks like for. All right, people. I'm in the shook. Okay, there's a lot of fruit, a lot of books. A lot of jewelry, no apartheid. I'm looking for the apartheid in this show. I can't find it. <laughs> Cowboy hats, placemats, no apartheid. I mean, okay, so first of all, I just good for him on just deciding the pronunciation of apartheid is apartheid. Doubling down. Yeah, um, and, but like, the, I'm not sure if he thinks apartheid is a product you buy at a market. I'm not really sure what he thinks apartheid is exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, if there's not any Palestinians there, then it, it is apartheid because you're not seeing them. <laughs> cool. That I mean, you, and it's true too because you, they'll be like, "Look at the, we got Arabs here," and they're like, yeah. "Oh, are they Palestinians? No, we don't call them that. We call them Israeli Arabs." Yeah. They refuse to call them Palestinians. And then you yeah. ask Israeli Arabs uh, what they are, and they say Palestinian. 
Um, and but then they say it in a low voice, and they want to make sure no one else is listening. Um, you did as a, you said, though, as you said though. I love that he talks about it like it's a product. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's what he's. And that's every video he does. He goes, "I'm looking for the fucking apartheid. I don't see nothing. I don't see all. I see is lamp." Umbrella yeah. guy. I look uh, under the fucking couch. Yeah. There's a guy in a chicken suit selling hot chicken. Where's the fucking party? Um, I just wanna I just wanna know how he has no self-awareness. Like he has no idea how fucking embarrassing he is. I mean Do you think they have some dirt on him or something though? Because it just seems like it's hard to imagine anybody would be this genuinely committed to like he is i you know i've i've been thinking about that a lot and honestly at because you've seen point, his new twitter profile picture oh yeah. no <laughs> it's just him with like the little curls and oh, like a yeah, rabbi yeah, hat. yeah 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 the payas and the yeah he's like photoshopped himself to look more jewish and like the yeah. reason he's doing that is because the motherfucker is not identifiably jewish which is what pisses me off about these guys i swear like 90 percent of matt the people, what are those things called they're called payas payas yeah Oh, uh, like like pay us? Yeah, like pay us. <laughs> yeah. Listen, interesting. There's a lot of things in Judaism and Jewish culture that does sound like we do. Right. We do eat money during <laughs> Hanukkah. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> it's yeah. chocolate money. Yeah. And I, listen, I've said for years, maybe like if we're trying to cut down on the like anti-Semitic stereotypes, we can just leave out the chocolate money part. We don't have to do that. We yeah. can just make the chocolate. Uh, you shouldn't have to change for the world. I agree. I I agree. We're not yeah. going to change for everyone else. But um, you're right, Matt, that he doesn't look identifiably Jewish at all. I thought that motherfucker was like Scottish or something. Like, I thought he was like an Irish, like Boston guy. Yeah. Just yeah. because he, I feel like every movie that he's been in, he wears a Celtics jersey. I don't know. <laughs> that just seems like what... I thought he was. And then I remember finding out he was Jewish when uh, he, it was like when he was in his like Dick Stain, Donald Trump era. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, yeah. So a, a part of me thinks that it is genuine. Everything, you know, his like, his just public foolishness and dumbassery is, is genuine because of the fact that like Donald Trump is no longer president. So he's like, he needs a new angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and finally October seventh happened, and he found a new angle, and it's uh, liking when kids die. I guess. I guess sometimes you forget how stupid actors are. Yes. Yeah. You know, hundred percent. Because we all have to write our own stuff. You know, whatever we're doing or podcasting, yes. you got to think of what you're going to say. But they don't have to think of anything. No, they they get to just exist. He gets to just work. You know, like a, you know, a, a Tampa Bay comedy club weekend and people are like oh that's the guy yeah. who said the n-word and bamboozled all yeah. right I'll, I'll go see that right um i mean like a guy like brett gelman you look at and you go like oh okay i, I bet he's like somebody's paying him or whatever mm -hmm. but and maybe he doesn't even believe this stuff i don't know but but it could be that he's just like that stupid yeah yeah i mean listen or actors both. are famously yeah. dumbasses <clears throat> but they are both. also I, I, I think in the case of Gelman, it does feel very much like uh, political and ideological, whereas in the case mm -hmm. of Ra Rappaport, um, maybe it's just because I think he's a little dumber. I think it's just like he is – I think he's just like a – he's never been ashamed of being a dumbass in, mm -hmm. in public, which is usually – I don't think there should be any shame for being a dumbass in public. But if it's you're a dumbass for genocide, then I'm uh, I'm ashamed you for it. Well, I also think he is getting paid because how is he always traveling back and forth to Israel? See, like that's the thing. He is 100. percent He's. I don't think like he let he released a video recently um, that is supposed to look like a leak of him oh, yeah, in a hallway that. taking a phone call where he's like, I get paid uh, this much money if I say, you know, I'm Israel high, I get paid this much. And people started sharing that and going like, oh, look, he's admitting it. And uh, I was like, no, this is just him doing the fucking, he's just trolling. 
But the troll doesn't really work because the dude has literally been living out of a hotel in Tel Aviv for like four months. Yeah, and he is not paying for that. I no. guarantee you, he's going there because he's finally getting booked again. He's yeah. like, he's doing all the like you know the Israel Saturday Night Live where they just have it's like one hour of the same Hamas joke over and over again, and sometimes <laughs> yeah. he's the guest star. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So that that I think that both can be true. I am yeah. also he's always saying like when he's gotten in spats with me that I'm getting paid to promote Hamas, which is I know. hilarious. I know. The idea that anybody is getting paid to defend the Palestinians is amazing. And so yeah. when I heard that, I was like, no, that's just more projection. These yeah. motherfuckers have endless, endless, endless propaganda outlets that are willing to fly fucking Tiffany Haddish or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Noah Tishby, who was allegedly an actress, but I, I don't, I didn't know who she was, who for some reason was going to the Grammys, even though she's not a musician. Like, yeah. I, why? She gets to go everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so I'm like, obviously someone is bankrolling this. It is 100% projection because of the fact they're like, well, I know I'm getting paid to- right. The only one who's not, the only one who's not getting paid is Rich Voss, unfortunately. Yeah, is Rich Voss? I don't think he just, gets... No, what is what's going on with Rich Voss? Oh well, he's he he likes Israel a lot, but he's been posting and he's like uh, he's like barely literate. It's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love being too dumb for the uh, like official uh, Israel has Boris like association yeah, yeah, where yeah. they're just like, no, no, this guy is he's he can't even write the sentence. I, I look at his post. I go, God, I hope nobody paid for this. <laughs> Yeah. You're, like, you're like Jesus Christ. You're like on his Instagram, yeah, on his Instagram a few weeks ago, he shared like a quote from the Bible, saying that you know like the land belongs to the Jews. Oh well, that's. I mean, there's no better has bar than that. I think is mm -hmm. when you just are like the Bible says this, as if the Bible doesn't also say like some rape is okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, the Bible says a lot, a lot of shit. Um, but I want to play a little bit of uh, Blakely's video just because you you do a you do a great um, impression of uh, of Rappaport. Upper East Side, and I keep asking people, where is the apartheid? Where is the fucking income inequality? I haven't seen a single fucking project here on the Upper East Side. I need to get back into the middle of the road and look somewhere else that's not the camera. Listen, you fucks. The only thing I fucking see is older ladies with Hermes scarves up here. Where's the apartheid? It's like when you fucks say that there is police brutality. Really? Because I was just walking by a fucking precinct and saw a black cop. You want to say there's police brutality? Show me. Just like you fucks want to say that there's apartheid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm here. I'm here on the Upper East Side. You fuck. Show me where it is. I haven't seen a single poor black up here or any black people at all. I refuse to leave fucking Tel Aviv, but I need you to show me where the apartheid is, you fucks. I was helping a fucking settler move into a house he stole in the occupied West Bank. And the Palestinian family that were fucking in there didn't even try to fight the armed IOF moving their shit out, okay? <laughs> now if you'll like fucking excuse me, I'm gonna go have a Palestinian child for lunch. <laughs> it's fantastic. Just perfect. I mean, rap he, he was so he was so mad. Oh but yeah. he was so mad, but I'm like I, I just watched a few of them and I was like, first of all, it made me laugh that he keeps saying apartheid. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah, also, um, he never looks at the camera. Why doesn't he look at it? Just, I, it's like his, he has like googly eyes. Yeah. Like he doesn't look at the camera. He'll be like looking like around. It's because but... the, the screen will show his face. I don't think he wants to look at himself. <laughs> because <laughs> every time he looks at himself, he catches a glimpse of himself in a mirror. He goes, ah. He forgets uh, how much he's aged since basketball diaries. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. So like Michael Rappaport is someone who I um, uh, like. I've been watching his uh, rapid decline into um, irrelevance uh, with just kind of like, I don't know, just keen interest in it because I, I, I find him to be such a fascinating figure because he's uh He's someone who I worked with uh, as a, a comic. I featured for him twice. Um, and uh, he oh. is just like... What was he, it like doing 40 minutes every night as a feature? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, 40 minutes and then also, you know, calming down all the fucking hogs uh, during his Q&A in which he would just get fucking like yelled at by people who liked him. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was it was uh, fascinating because he was like very much an actor who was just trying stand up and he knew he sounded like a stand up. You know, he has like a a voice and he had an interesting angle, too. I was like, yeah, he kind of sounds like uh, like uh, like if Woody Allen was from a really rough neighborhood, like that was kind of his <laughs> angle. Um, and, you know, he didn't really have like jokes, but he had like stories, just like every Hollywood schmuck who tries his hand at like stand up. They all just come in and talk about famous people that they've been around. And that's what the hogs want to hear. Um but he was like, you know, he was nice enough, I guess. Um, but uh, just he's he lost his mind. And and he I didn't think he was going to uh, come after me, um, mostly because we had like worked together. And I was just like, I, I don't know. I don't even think he follows me. He's not going to see any of my tweets. So I, I tweeted this thing about uh, Jonathan glazer um you know having this guy the guy who gave the speech at the oscars he's had like a million articles written about him about how actually his speech is bad and he should feel bad um <clears throat> which is clearly just a way to get people in hollywood to stop uh you know um talking about it you know so like it's an intimidation tactic so i wrote that it, that uh, it was an intimidation ta tactic and he wrote <laughs> you're not in the industry bozo Literally never have, uh, literally never been, and don't have it. Oh my uh, gosh! I didn't even see that. That's yes. amazing. Yes, yes. And he he wrote quote the industry. I clearly wrote. Uh, uh, are these articles to intimidate Jews in the entertainment industry into silence? Like I didn't write the industry. He just kind of saw that. It doesn't matter. Uh, so then I just wrote. Uh, <clears throat> I featured for Michael at two comedy clubs, and he definitely has it, the ability to bomb in front of fans. <laughs> um, and then he um, he just wrote the most unhinged shit <laughs> I've seen. And he writes some unhinged things, but this was like, this was wild. Prove it, pussy. Self-hating, lying pussy. You never featured, worked with me, or met me, pussy. You self-hating pussies Gosh. make shit up all day in here. It's tw it's two fifty a.m. PST, pussy. You are alone in tweeting. Um, oh my gosh, he's so unhinged. I just want to so point out uh, that uh, I I did write it at two eighteen uh, a.m. So he is sort of right on that. Of course, he did write this at two fifty a.m. So, um, oh my gosh! But then uh, someone just pointed at literally. <laughs> <laughs> us mm -hmm. working together mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and i just i i was i was just like blown away at his um his ability to write pussy so many times and like yes. one tweet like that character limit i thought it you know i thought well, it he's verified so you can do that when you're oh, that's right yeah. you can just write pussy yeah. as many times as you want mm -hmm. yeah because he pays for the privilege although at this point Israel is paying for the program. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. First of all, he's so deranged. Literally yeah. so deranged. Like, the fact that he comes out and also he's very immature. Like, the way that yeah. he tries to use, like, words like pussy in order to have shock value. Mm -hmm. Like, the way he said it, it's just very juvenile to me. I knew boys like that when I was a kid that would be like, fuck you, pussy, just to, like, yeah. get a reaction from their friends. Yeah. He has that vibe. Oh, 100%. Um, but also, like... He came at you with such fervor. He was as very if, like pissed. he had receipts. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, like oh. it was very like I didn't even. I'm not even the one who posted the picture of me and him together. Uh, I right. fell asleep. I woke up in the morning and found out he was he that <laughs> that he was mad at me. Uh, right. And and so <clears throat> it was everyone else who just like you know Googled it and and they. We're like, here's a picture of you together, and you responded to the tweet. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was great. Right. I also really? like yeah. uh, the specific psychotic vitriol that they have toward Jewish people who are not Zionists. Oh, yeah. They fucking Just hate like, us, dog. Like, it's crazy. Like, the fact that, first of all, I like how he's like, you don't have it, as if he's got all this talent. Yeah. Like, I, I, also, <laughs> bitch, who made you the arbiter of what is in the entertainment industry and what's not in the entertainment industry? And he is 
so not funny. Yeah. He's painfully not funny. <clears throat> that the idea that he's criticizing anybody else who works in comedy or like you get to be in charge. Like he's chronically yeah. unemployed and yet he thinks he gets to be in charge of who is the comedian or who's in the entertainment industry. Yeah. But also like it doesn't escape my attention that whenever it comes to people who are also Jewish, there's like an extra layer of vitriol, self-hating. Like yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, psychotic. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is, <clears throat> it's very weird because like he is someone who <clears throat> I think before this, you know, he he had a career. I mean, at the very least, he could sell out a weekend in Tampa or like he could sell out uh, the Sacramento punchline. So it is kind of like uh, it's a weird it's a weird angle to just like say, oh, fuck it. I'm going to be this guy now. Um, but the weirdest thing about it is that like uh, I was trying to figure out like what the hell was going on with him. And I realized like he is in his birthright era. See, I don't think mm. he's ever been to Israel until recently. And I'm not even sure exactly what his connection <clears throat> to Judaism was or to his Jewishness. Um, like I was like, you know, maybe he grew up like secular but super Zionist or maybe he grew up very religious. And then I, <laughs> I found a, a video of him. Uh, this is a few weeks ago. Um, at his um, bar mitzvah. Do you guys want to see his bar mitzvah? Yes. Yes. Here, here it is. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. It is a big day for me. I am getting the disruptive warrior, me and my grandpa. I am getting bar mitzvah today. I was never bar mitzvah. 1980, 1982, I went to Hebrew school and I went for one class and they kicked me out. They asked me to never come back. I bet it's because he said a bunch of anti-Semitic shit. <laughs> <laughs> like a hundred percent, he went in there. First of all, wait. I'm not trying kick... to be nitpicky, but doesn't it seem like uh, he was unsure of how to say Shabbat Shalom? He's been like saying he... it weird. Shabbat Shalom. Yeah. He seems unsure of himself. They, yeah. They didn't kick him out because he was black, did they? Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, they thought he was a black guy, and then they kicked him out immediately. Uh, and it was fine because I always wanted to practice basketball <laughs> on Wednesdays. Uh, but today's the day. Um, and I feel like I'm ready. I feel like I'm ready to be a man. <laughs> Although I've been paying taxes since I'm 21, I feel like I'm ready to be a man, pay taxes and pay child support, alimony. I'm wishing everybody a fantastic Shabbat. I'm wishing everybody a great weekend. All races, religions, Sexualities. I would really like to send a beautiful, beautiful, appreciative shout out to everybody I've come across in Israel on this trip. I am thinking about all the the hostages. <laughs> I'm sorry. That okay, is... that makes so much more sense. It really does, though, bro. It, like, yes. going to Israel for the first time. <clears throat> like, I'm not trashing him for some for not having a bar mitzvah. Like uh, I thought, I didn't I didn't have a bar mitzvah till I went on birthright as well. The exact same thing happened to me. Only I was 26 and not like 66. But <laughs> like just just I it, it, it all the pieces fit together for me as soon as you see um you know like view this as his going on birthright experience for the first time. Like if your birthright is um, October 7th, you know, based, then yeah, you're going to like, you're going to be pretty stoked on genocide. Well, apparently that he was saying that he wanted to have a bar mitzvah. So you'd have a bunch of 12 year olds in the same room. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it, he was I, a child I, actor. I think I read an article about that. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It does make a lot of sense. Somebody had posted, and um, I didn't mention it before because I wasn't sure if it was true, but somebody posted that he didn't really grow up practicing Judaism, that he did a DNA test in like 2019 or something and what? found out. <laughs> really? That he was, yeah, that's what someone said. They said it, they screenshot an article oh, saying that shit. he had said he didn't even know like, you know, how Jewish he was or whatever until like 2018 or 19 when he did like a 23andMe test and found out that he was Ashkenazi. 
And then I was like, and then hearing like you say what you just said about birthright, I'm like, mm -hmm. no, that makes more sense. It's like when you see a person first become like a radicalized evangelical after they get baptized or they first get saved and they go on like a, they're, they're on fire for Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then like, you can tell when someone's newly saved. It's new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the vibe. But he's just like us with honestly, Islam, he, right? If you, if, which would be fine if he wasn't psychotic and genocidal and racist and xenophobic, then I would be like, hey, you do you. You know, you're living your best life. You're excited about your bar mitzvah. That's great. Um, but this whole birthright thing for him has come with, you know, the the propaganda tour and the cheering of the slaughter of the Palestinians, and now. Yes. What is the denial of their murder? He keeps tweeting, "Oh, do we have birth records of these supposedly right. dead kids?" Right. Yeah. When when the uh, when the IOF is explicitly uh, targeting like all of Palestinian civil society and like d literally destroying records um and just being like where's all the birth certificates um yeah it's just like no one uh, went to the fucking court <laughs> yeah exactly um <clears throat> so i'm reading about this so um he didn't always feel connected with his faith he didn't go to hebrew school he said he pri prioritized basketball and then <laughs> He, he only realized that he was 100% Ashkenazi after he did a 23andMe DNA, uh, DNA test during the COVID pandemic. Oh, so, so it was even later than 2018. So, so he knew he was he knew he was Jewish, but he was you know secular. And then he um, you know took a, a DNA test, and uh, you know this is like I think one of the like really gross things about uh, Zionism to me is the fact that like it is. So much of it is um, is DNA based. So much of it is like race science based. Like he, you don't have to be a religious person. Uh, you know, it's not like he's sitting around going like, "Oh, I read the Bible and the Bible said God gave me the land." It's literally he's just like, my blood gives me a passport to like kill Palestinians and move them out of their house. Sick. Like it's that hard. is. That's what makes it fucking weird. And that's one of the reasons why I found it particularly gross, you know, uh, later in life. Like, first, when I was a kid, I was like, oh, that's sick because I wasn't religious at all. But I was like, oh, it'd be sick if, you know, the Nazis come and then I, I get to move to the beach in Israel. Um, and then it wasn't until later that I was like, well, that's actually really weird, huh? Like, I guess that's not something that most people want or do. Do well, you guys also, do you guys have uh, a plan B for when the Nazis come after like Italians or whatever you guys are? <laughs> um yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll go to Philly. <laughs> Blakely, where are you going to go when they go after Italians? I'm staying right here. Cuz right. I feel like I feel like I feel like they they don't want to come to New York cuz they think New yeah. York is just like black right. people and That's right. That's gay. a good point. Yeah. So I feel like they'll leave us alone. I love know? that you say, uh, American Nazis are such pussies. They're never going to like try <laughs> to do like a, a a pogrom in New York because <laughs> they're just going to post videos of someone who got beat up, you know, on the L or whatever. And yeah. Just, <laughs> and be like, I would never move here. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> like, and it's some guy in like Missouri. He's like, oh my right. gosh, New York yeah. goes to that New York, that inner city. Yeah, that inner city. You know what I mean? DEI? You get yeah. it? I did see a TikTok about that. This guy was like, Yeah, if 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 New York is like this violent hellhole, then you can't call us snowflakes for living here. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. The, 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 it's like the that does not make any fucking sense if you're just like, you know, oh man, this place is fucking it is like the seventh circle of hell filled with gangs and people getting murdered and everyone there is a fucking pussy yeah yeah and the trans fucking... agenda right yeah exactly and then it's everyone's trying to turn you trans all the blacks got guns that turn you into trans right um, and then and then you're right and then they're like oh and they're such snowflakes i'm like yeah i've been assaulted on the train bitch yeah you want yeah to snowflakes? yeah <laughs> i just made and i just made a video about this because i'm sure you guys have heard about i'm on estrogen 
women. <laughs> oh, nice. Hell yeah. The women that yeah. are getting, you know, the women that are getting punched in the face in New York, that, that mm-hmm. trend mm-hmm. that's been what? happening. I don't know this. I live in oh, LA, okay. dog. It, it's in, it's in a, it's been going viral on TikTok. Just women there's a knockout game, out. but only for, only for ladies. Yeah. Seems to be mostly cis white women that are getting assaulted. Damn. Um, punched in the face specifically. Um, By one guy or multiple, lots of people. They don't. They don't know. They don't know yeah. if it, it has been yet. But there's been like a bunch of speculation, and of course, there's been the usual suspects of like, "See, I told you, New York is a shit hole." Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this isn't particularly new. Yeah. Last right. year, last year there was a guy that like chased me while throwing Chipotle at me, like Chipotle trash. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah. not like a full burrito. No, 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 no. I, that would have been less offensive because at least I could have taken it home. You could have no, caught it. Yeah. Eaten trash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like, I was like, so this isn't particularly new to New York. However, if you have been ever in New York and you deal with people that have mental illness, right? Yeah. Or you see people that are unhoused, like mm-hmm. that's not. That's why when people were like, oh, some people are saying the girls are lying and that they're like, oh, why didn't you tape it? First of all, you don't really have time to get your phone out when you've just been decked in the face. Like, that's yeah, I usually, I the, imagine it's usually a surprise. Right, right. And the other thing is, at least for me, whenever I've been harassed by somebody who I I can see is dealing with some mental health issues or is unhoused, mm-hmm. I would never tape them. To tape yeah. someone that's in their worst moments like that. Like I, I Right. I would... It'd be weird to preemptively tape someone just waiting for them to surprise punch you in the face. <laughs> yeah. I feel like in New York, that would be a lot of people. Like you'd run out of cloud storage pretty fast. Yeah. yeah. Just, that just... would be funny if you found out it was one guy doing it and it was Eric Adams. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's, like, he's just trying to have a little fun, man. He's doing it to yeah. blow off steam. Yeah. yeah. He's pretty stressed out. It's been a rough year. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Something yeah. sucks for him. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, Mike, you also, uh, I, I love your online presence as well when it comes to this. So you, uh, th- There was recently some great fucking Hesbara uh, that came out um, from the uh, stopantisemitism.org posted about it. And they're, you know, a libs of TikTok, but for Zionists. Um, And so they like, they drag all sorts of people. I mean, you guys are eventually, have you, have you guys been dragged by uh, stopantisemitism.org yet? Uh, I have not yet. And that's, I'm feeling a little left out now that you. Yeah, no, no. I, you know, everyone it's uh, at this point, it's just like, you know, getting fucking new faces at just for laughs. It's like, oh shit, Mm. I'm on (laughs) stopantisemitism.org. Somebody did try to have. Somebody tried to have one of my shows in Iowa canceled. Oh yeah, they emailed the club. Yeah, and the club owner was like, um, "This is Iowa. What's a Jew?" Like they're like, "Fill me in." <laughs> what are what are Jews? Yeah, explain yeah. them. Yeah, what yeah. is that? Them's I'm the sorry, one that killed not... Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, there was uh, stopantisemitism.org posted this, which I mean, this is just great. Um, <clears throat> uh. Oh, and I see <laughs> these vile stickers are being spotted all around Union yeah. Square. The Free Palestine Movement is truly deranged. It says uh, it's a Palestinian flag, and uh, over it says "Rape is resistance, free Palestine by any means necessary." And it also says over a Palestinian flag, "Babies are occupiers too, free Palestine by any means necessary." Just the most obvious attempt. <laughs> too i mean just so clearly made by zionists and then yeah. mike you wrote this which i fucking loved you just posted <laughs> <laughs> this old an old man who uh had a, a burnt american flag in his driveway and then someone spray painted black's rule <laughs> that looks like a confederate flag <laughs> it's it, yeah that'd be yeah they better. burned it Oh, the, yes, it is a Confederate flag. Yeah. They burned his beautiful flag. <laughs> they burned his, his Confederate flag and they spray painted <laughs> Black's rule on it, which, you know, Blacks are very much known for writing, for oh. calling themselves Blacks. <laughs> hey, do you guys know that guy Kosha Dills? Kosher Dills? Kosha Dills. He's like a, he's like a Zionist uh, rapper. I'm Think sorry. Think how horrible is, that is. His name is Kosher Dills? Kosha Dills, C O K O S H A D D I L L Z. But he's like a Zionist um, rapper. Oh, God. just take a minute to imagine, yeah, how how bad that is. But he made a video where he was like, he made a video where he was on the like the F train and he was like, 
wiping off a swastika that somebody drew mm-hmm. and you're watching it and you're like, you drew that swastika. <laughs> yeah. You drew the swastika so you can erase it. Like if you were if you went actively looking for a swastika on the F train, it would take you maybe like a cup, like at least 18 to 20 hours. Yeah. Yeah. But you you could find it if you tried. But I love and the he's idea. bald. Just imagine and- you're a bald guy drawing swastikas <laughs> on the train. It's like, why didn't you get this shit Don't worry, out of him? I'm going to erase it for my music video. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Kill children. No, no, no. I'm just yeah. making content. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a prank, now, bro. Yeah. I wish that somebody could find out who made those stickers that they put, uh, that they pretended to find all over. First of all, I go to Union Square all the time. I literally did not see any. There, That wasn't yeah. there. That wasn't a thing. So when I saw that, I was like, this is just, I just want to know who was behind it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it, it, it's always the same disgusting fucking people behind mm. it. It's always just like the worst, most stereotype, like the type of Zionist Jewish person who like you're just like you're not doing me any favors, and I'm an anti-Zionist. You, the you being you is making people more anti-Semitic. Like it's all they're always the great. It's like Rabbi Shmoli Bodiak, you know, like that Thank fool. You. He lives to look like a Nazi drawing, and he is like, oh. Speaking of which, I have um some Purim related shit that I want to show. Oh my um, gosh, Shmuley. And Shmuel- as you just said, which is true, making mm-hmm. people more anti-Semitic because he is so ridiculous and yeah. so insane and absurd that he's made Candace Owens a sympathetic figure to people. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. It's like, I swear to fucking God that his plan is to get Jews hurt. Like, that's <laughs> what it feels like. It's every, I, because all he does is like, like Candace Owens is a legitimate fucking psychopath. Candace yeah. Owens does hate the Jews. Like she's the shit that she says. I'm like, oh no, she kind of does just hate Jews. Uh, but she's hated Jews since before this. Israel is just like she's not wrong when she says things like Israel is bad, but she's wrong. <laughs> she's right for the wrong reasons, you know. And so all he does in like trying to get her fired is make people go like, maybe she's right about stuff. It just, exactly. It's so. Exactly. It just blows my fucking mind. Um, and so and made it gave her more credibility than she deserved because she never even defended the Palestinians. Right. She said that like it wasn't a good look or it was bad, or she made a comment like genocide in general is bad, but she's never once like defended the Palestinians or said like they have a right to defend themselves when Israel's doing is horrible. Right. So, like, she says things like uh, you know, when I see kids dying, I cry. And they and right. they were like, that's too far. And it's like, what right. are you doing? Right. <laughs> so I'm like, all you're doing is like unironically empowering people who really are anti-Semitic. Right. A hundred percent. It's fucking it's great. Clown and, shoes. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> It makes me it is feel- kind of funny though. A lot yeah. of a lot of right wing accounts have been pretty good on um, yes. some of this stuff. It makes you wonder like what I don't know what the what the game is or what the end goal like are they doing it to maybe try to get Trump elected or I don't know because because then some of it does feel pretty authentic, I guess. Yeah, I mean, because you know, someone like Alex Jones will say something along the lines of like, you know, enough is enough. You know, they, right, they, right. they've they've killed too many people. Right. But the truth of it is, is that it's like they see which way the wind is blowing when it comes to right. fucking sure. uh, public opinion, yeah. and uh, and also uh, they see that their right wing followers can very easily fall into the camp of uh, you know, the woke mind virus if they don't also stake a claim to this, you know. Uh, ever growing popular uh, Israel seems like the bad guy here trend, mm-hmm. and so like I think and, I, if they had Alex any balls at the- all, they would have known at the beginning. Which anyone who knew anything about this subject knew right. at the right. beginning, like oh shit, they're going to use this as a pretext to do ethnic cleansing and genocide. Everyone fucking knew that, and yeah. uh, who like anyone who knew the subject and like knows Israel and what their policies are regarding like 
you know, disproportionate fucking, you know, vengeance cycles. And so then like, there are people like me yeah. who, even if you didn't know anything about it, when you start seeing the videos, it right. is undeniable. And right. That's why whenever they're like, oh, well, you're just believing Hamas propaganda. I'm like, motherfucker, half of what I saw that radicalized me was shit posted by Israel. By right, the yeah, it's, it's, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Like it's not and then it's also their war crimes. But, yeah. but then you see Trump being like, Bibi needs to calm down. They need to wrap this up. This right. is very, very bad. Like, does any of that make you go like, oh, maybe I'll vote for him? Well, I mean, I, I'm not going to, obviously, but no, no. But that's the thing is like Democrats, like if we're just talking like politics and like fucking uh, electoral shit, like yeah. Democrats are the best at being outflanked uh, mm -hmm. on the yeah, left yeah, yeah. by yeah. the right. Because <laughs> I literally called my grandmother yesterday and I was like. They keep trying to get Trump, but they're not going to do it, are they? <laughs> I'm like, they're not going to get him on anything, are they? No, of course not. And she's like, no. <laughs> no. They would have had, yeah, had him already like if they you did. Said, there are certain people on the right that are just doing it because they see that's where public opinion is. Alex right, Jones right. is such a pussy. He Alex hasn't Jones said anything is... about this for months. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. finally is like... Oh, maybe they're being too harsh because he 100%. sees that his own audience is starting to turn against Israel. Yes, and and like his his audience is 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 filled with like right wing anti semites who are like right. absolutely like like Alex Jones has been someone who has uh, talked about Israel, but only in the like craziest fashion. Like he's someone who takes like an actual insane thing that Israel did, and then like is like, and that's why. You know, they that's why they tore down the key bridge in Baltimore. And you're just like, no, what do you like? What he, he just likes to he likes to add an extra thing to it because he's a conspiracy guy. That's his his whole yeah, beat. But it's got to be rooted in reality to some extent, I guess. Right. And so, like, you know, for him. But when you see it with other right wingers like recently and it's still few and far between. Um, but all I you know, when I see that shit, I'm just like, this is uh this is why fucking this is why the left never wins at anything. This is why uh, Democrats are born fucking losers is because they get uh, outflanked by the fucking right on shit. That is a fucking layup. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. And the bars on the floor. Trump didn't even say like, oh, they should stop the genocide. He literally was speaking about it in terms of PR. He's right. Like, this yeah. is right. a really bad look. Right. Right. Yes. yes. He said he said. Bibi didn't believe the election was stolen. And you're like, right. well, that might be enough to, yeah. to have some yeah. change. Yeah, yeah. If, if that's it, that might actually help Palestine if he's yeah. elected. And that, yeah. you know, like, I think obviously Bibi and all the fucking right, hard right wingers in Israel would love for Trump to be the president. And like, you know, I have some like liberal zionist uh people in my life who after the seventh were just like guys this is what this is what bb wants they they want you to be anti-israel so that so that trump wins like this was all part of the plan um <laughs> and uh, you know and it is it is uh, to one extent it's true that bb wants fucking uh trump to win because trump loves israel but uh it's not that's not a trump thing so much as that it's a biden thing like right. Biden is such a bitch that right. he is going to cape for Israel, knowing that they are already calling him Hamas because because right. at the UN a couple of days ago, uh, the United States didn't veto um, a, uh, a a temporary ceasefire bill, ceasefire. a temporary ceasefire, and said they abstained, and they're just right. like this fucking Biden. Like, and then how... those uh, State Department fucking lackeys came out and was like, it's non binding. You know, mm -hmm. it's non binding. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, that's, I fucking hate Democrats. They're such losers. They're such losers. It's like, it's hard sometimes not to believe that they're trying to lose on purpose. Right. Because it's that's... like, then people are like, oh, look, Trump is pro Palestine. Mm. No, no, he's not. His record on Israel was horrible. But then yeah. it's like they named a settlement then, after him. He made he put Jerusalem. He made Jerusalem the capital, which is, is and recognized illegal. the Golan Heights. He recognized the Golan Heights. This guy, you know, is clearly not fucking pro Palestine. But right. Democrats like, are so bad at it that people are yeah. like, any change got to be good, right? He tries to have it, and what ends up happening is Biden tries to, and Democrats try to have it both ways, and they end up losing everybody. Yeah, because yeah. for the bitches. right. Like, this is what I feel like so many people that are, like, leftists don't understand when they're criticizing Biden or 
in some ways defending Trump, which I have seen, is mm-hmm. that the critique of Biden from the right is that he's not psychotic and genocidal enough. Right, right. He's yeah, not yeah, vicious yeah. enough. Not right. because of he's allowing it. So it's like they're no, he's losing not pro-Israel on, enough. Yeah, right. So they're losing on both fronts because to the right wing, Biden is Hamas. Right. So it's like, and then to the left, they obviously the left understandably sees him doing things like cutting funding for UNRWA, continuing right, yeah. to act like a bitch to Netanyahu, yeah, allowing and, and him then they, to get away with whatever he wants. Right. And then they try to be like, oh, well, we'll give like a slight condemnation to Netanyahu. And then the entire right wing blows up and cries and says that, you know, he's he's trying to he wants the destruction of Israel. Right. And then and then it's a lose lose. They're fucking losers. They're fucking losers. And uh, it's you know, it comes to, to a point where you just kind of you just it becomes increasingly more more and more hard to blame anyone who's like i'm not gonna vote for him mm-hmm. and then everyone everyone gets mad and i'm like I, I i'm not gonna yell at someone for not voting for biden i can't i can't find it in my in my heart to like i i get it dog like how how can you yell at someone who's not gonna vote for him i'm you, you know like it's yeah. uh it's hard he, to it- and he makes it harder every single day. Yeah, they all do. They're all yeah. fucking bitches. Because um, it's like, if you know how dangerous Trump is, and I do believe that. I'm not one of these people that downplays Trump's threat. Or mm-hmm. not just Trump, the threat of the right wing in power. And yeah, I, do they are, yeah, I do they worry. I do worry about more, that. They are more psycho. And yeah. I think it's always funny because it's like, the difference is they're just open psychos. Like, right. the Democrats are psychos too, but they, at the very least are trying to find the correct language to be psychos <laughs> which i don't know if it's any better but but like uh i just wanted to share some uh some videos from just uh different uh activists including like Co- uh, code pink and uh and other uh mm. pro palestine activists like trying to talk to congress people uh in the capitol and just like watching the way that um the like republican representatives act is like wild like here's uh andrew ogles i think i believe of tennessee or some shit you've seen footage of children's bodies that's my taxpayer dollars i'm going to you know going to bomb those kids so i think we should kill them all if that makes you feel better everybody come on yes just straight up is like i think we should kill them all uh just i mean that's a pretty good own you got you you got their ass uh and then we have uh the goat uh this is uh his name is <laughs> Brian Mast you might know him as uh that republican guy with no legs you're heartless you are heartless you can say do you realize you how heartless you are it would be better if we kill all the terrorists and kill everyone and their supporters it's just not a solution oh, it's a great solution you haven't seen the pictures of all the babies being killed these are not innocent palestinian the civilians across the world when you're looking at the half a million people starving to death are people that should vote. go out there and put a government in place that doesn't go out there and attack a four-year-old. 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 Four-year
I'm just horrified by that mm -hmm. video. He's such garbage. Right. And and the thing that makes me so angry about that is that they are just there isn't outrage around it. Like if a fucking Democrat said that about or anybody said that about really any other group. Yeah. There would be yeah. outrage. Yeah. He yeah, just yeah. said that genocidal shit like it ain't no thing. Right. And it didn't yeah. even barely make the news. Yeah. Yeah. It's it is it's it's wild what a Republican can get away with saying like just on camera and have his constituents be like I don't know. He's just, he's just talking. I mean, you know, it's, uh, no, or even just the mainstream media like that did no, not, yeah, they don't, they don't that wasn't a, a big deal. Okay. Who was it recently that said something and people fucking freaked out about it? Like AOC it really... or I mean, people freak out about, uh, a, what was it against Palestine or was it? No, it was like, so it was, I don't even think it was related to Israel, Palestine. It was just one of those things where like something happened in the media and it was a stupid controversy right. that like, dominated the headlines for days and it was right. so dumb and then i'm like thinking about it and i don't know why i'm blanking on the story but like thinking about it i'm like these are the same people that when people like brian mass right. openly talk about genocide against palestinians say that there are no innocent palestinian civilians right, yeah. i didn't see cnn freaking out about that yeah, that's because they've already painted them. You know, the, the 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 job of these you know partisan twenty four hour news networks is to like just, uh, you know, uh, paint all uh, like they already say Republicans bad. At this point, this is just like they're like, yeah, but we kind of agree with half of what he's saying, so let's not. <laughs> Let's not let's not give any bad press to Israel here. <laughs> like it is it is clear that like uh when it comes to this subject they they're not going to paint anyone uh even if they're on the right as being fucking crazy <clears throat> uh or like genocidal cuz they're saying like similar shit, you know? Right, or at the kind of very least they're, they're backing the Israeli government which believes the same shit that Brian Mass just said. Right. And that's the thing is that like a lot of this came out and you start seeing it. And I'm like, I don't know, as somebody who is on the left broadly mm -hmm. and 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 is heard Democrats talk about this kind of shit forever. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wait a second. Wait a second. I thought that you guys were like the human rights people. Nah, I thought you guys were like the libs. <laughs> like you like you don't hate gay people. You're not racist. You don't <laughs> hate Latinos or black people. But. <laughs> But, and you're going back to like 2004 Islamophobia. Yes. 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 Right. yes. Like, and then I'm like, wait a second. I recognize this language all of this broadly. Shit. Yeah. yeah. From like early 2000s, right. like post 9 11 is like where I was growing up and like seeing all this. And I'm like, wait a second. So what happened to. Is there no room on that sign that says in this house we believe Black Lives Matter? Like, oh, yeah, no, no room on that side for the Palestinians. As soon well, then as you have, you'd have to get rid of like. Well, they just put painters tape some... over that one part. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, as soon, yeah. As soon as this discussion of the Palestinians come up, it's like they just turn into xenophobic racists, just like the right. Yeah, dude, it's yeah. They, they they did a complete fucking like regression back to that shit. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, they're 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 right back to the same like post nine eleven stuff. Uh, Mina, I just want to point uh, out something great about Brian Mast, uh, congressman who said we should, you know, the, the kids should should vote. That's how they'll stop the genocide. Um, he recently won an award. <laughs> and this is this is a real thing. Um, you shared about this on uh, Instagram and uh, and Facebook, and. It says, uh, Brian Mass, there is no room for anti-Semitism in this world. As long as I am in Congress, I will ensure that the U.S. stands with our ally Israel and the Jewish people. I was honored to receive the Dr. Bob Shillman Zionist, <laughs> Zionism oh Award from the Zionist Organization of America on Saturday night or Sunday night. That is, I'm sorry, but motherfucker... The award is he won the Dr. Schill's Zionism Award. There's no self awareness. I'm sorry. No. no <laughs> He's literally none. got an award for being number one Zionist Shill. Yes. <laughs> That's really hard when you can't even get on your knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Listen, I do I mean, not. In, I do not endorse this. I do not endorse <laughs> this. I do you're, not endorse it. All right, you're a I better purse. You're a good <laughs> person. Yeah, you're going to heaven, Blakely. We get you're it. Going to heaven. Yeah. Oh man, I'm praying for you guys. <laughs> no, please pray. Are you Gen Z? No, I'm a millennial. Oh, you're not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, she's just a good person, unlike you, Mike. Yeah, they. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh, you're sorry. fucking up my pronouns. Wow, you go to piece of fuck, shit. Fuck, you guys are. Yeah, you guys are evil. You guys are oh. boomers. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't misgender you. Oh, Thank you. Fuck. All right, you this... can go to heaven. Oh, all right. Can I it go was to just heaven? this. No, Matt, you're going to hell next to Brian Mast. <laughs> oh no. I would be very upset if I I went to me and Brian Mast went to hell. <laughs> if we went to the same place. And they're like, yeah, yeah, you know, ableism is kind of just as bad. It's- yeah. Bro, no. bro, unironically, uh, like, Brian Mass is like a Christian Zionist whose whole thing is that all of the Jews are going to get rounded up, brought to Israel. And then when Jesus comes back, you guys are all going to hell. <laughs> like- yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, it is. It is like uh, the most insane thing about any kind of like Jewish support for these people is like, you know, they, uh, you know, they want us to die. Right. And, right. and, but so that they can go to heaven. It is uh, the weirdest shit ever. And can I just say, I get, I feel like I kind of have a pass for ableism because my, my brother is Italian. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no, but, no, but, I want someone <laughs> who is like a Jewish Zionist to explain mm. to me why they are so cool with Christian Zionism. And oh, there I can are, explain that. There are more Christian Zionists than there are Jewish Zionists. And the whole shtick of Christian Zionism is that you guys are going to get wiped out. It's because they <laughs> don't. It's because it's because we don't believe because uh, we don't because everything they're saying is like based on a fucking prophecy that is not real it's like listen i don't care what fucking spooky scary like fairy tale that you're you're basing this off of you're you're gonna give us money to do ethnic cleansing sick (laughs) like you you can believe whatever weird shit you want about jesus coming back as long as it is ends with me living in gaza beachfront property you know that's how, I, I yeah. So it's they, they don't care uh, that you know. Uh, they, in fact, they they like it because the more kind of like uh, Christian Zionists there are, um, you know, the more there's. In fact, the more they think that Jews are people who need to be perfected and either find Jesus or perish, uh, the more anti-Semitism exists in places outside of Israel. The more Jews will move there. You know. Mm. It's part of a plan. The plan being getting Jews to move to Israel so that we can have blow up. A, yeah, you're right. I mean, listen, it is. I, I never said it was a good plan, nor yeah. do I well, agree with it. I yeah. guess it makes sense because I, I used to wonder that. I'm like, I don't understand why like Jewish people aren't offended by Christian Zionists. Like they think you guys are gonna go to hell and 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 blow up. That's why you need to go back to Israel. Yeah, yeah. It is. It's uh. It's wild, but this is uh you know par for the course in terms of like who uh zionists choose to be friends with you know yeah we like we like a toxic relationship right you know (laughs) that's how we that's how we roll abusive relationships aside from israel there's not really any reason to dislike jewish people i can't think of a single one how dare you (laughs) (laughs) how dare you preeminent anti-semite mike racine i mean that's true <laughs> yeah all of my all of my favorite, you're all smart yeah <laughs> yeah all of my you're educated you that i was looking up to growing up were all jews you're Bob funny Dylan, yeah Roseanne. oh uh, well listen uh, not roseanne you're... now not roseanne now no <laughs> roseanne, roseanne before yeah, that's such a yeah. good example yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know just for her for her politics mostly yeah yeah mostly yeah. no i like yeah. later stage roseanne when she got yeah, really yeah. anti-woke mm-hmm. um no it's uh i i feel like the the job of uh like zionists is, is to remind people um w- like that they should hate Jews. Like this mm-hmm. is Rabbi uh, Shmoli, um, uh, who is uh, celebrating the firing of Candace Owens at a, a Purim party in which she has decided to dress as a Jewish stereotype. 
Um, this is just, just watch this. Hi, I'm a Candace Owens Jew. I been, I love Israel and I hate America. Do loyalty. I'm filth, but I love cash. He wrote okay. filth on his forehead. He wrote filth just because he. <laughs> which, so, <laughs> all right. So he's got. Two uh, Israeli flags on his cheeks. He wrote filth on his forehead. He's wearing a, a shirt that's just money. And he has a uh, like a, a witch nose. Um, and I believe he's drinking from a cup that says uh, Christian blood. Love and his money. shirt says Candace Owens. Oh, does it say Candace Owens on it? It's all about the Benjamins. Oh, Candace. Yeah, the Candace it's Owens true. Jew. Yes. Uh, money, 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 but more than anything else, what I really want, what my giant nose needs just to grow more warts is Christian blood. Let me see if I can find any. Let me see. Let me see. Are you guys <laughs> this is so dark. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the kids. He's actively scaring Jewish children for yes. the bit. Look at this. This is going to be them in therapy in twenty years from now. <laughs> he's he's creating memories in these kids that are gonna fuck them up for the rest of their goddamn life. He's like, you cre- yeah, you don't so often just see like casual trauma being instilled in children, <laughs> unless you're watching something from Gaza. But yeah, I love that he's like, listen, I got to create some core memories and some youth right now. I want to yeah. make sure that when they grow up, they uh, feel weirdly alienated from uh, their own <laughs> culture <laughs> just i just he is no. literally just dancing scaring the fuck out of these kids for a also, porn party he didn't need to dress up and put all that shit on his face because he is scary he's scary looking <laughs> oh, yeah. he, because he looks deranged <laughs> he looks 100 percent. 100 percent. the the guy already is uh, a fucking weird i th- i think it, like his... he looks deranged and finkelstein just looks like an absolute chad e- even though he's like in his 70s Fin- yeah. yeah finkelstein looks like uh, a well-read velociraptor yeah and fucking meanwhile like schmoly just he is covered in patches of hair um and <laughs> he's got like Botox, he looks like a but werewolf. in a couple of places. <laughs> yes, he looks like yes. a werewolf mid, like like on Transformation. a transformation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and he's first of all, he also does this thing that like same thing Michael Rapport does, same thing that a lot of like boomers do, where when he tapes himself when he makes a video, I don't know if you guys saw the one where he was addressing Ben Shapiro. The oh, phone yeah. is like here. Yeah, like he goes why so does it close. have to be so close? Yeah, yeah. He's he's got the 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 opposite of Rappaport. He's got like the confidence where he's just like, Yeah, look at my fucking ugly ass. Yes, face. right in his face. But like also he reminds me too, I guess, because the way he's dressed up in that video of the witch from Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, 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 bit. yeah. Well, he's wearing um, the witch nose and everything. Yeah. But yeah. I just he I just, I want to know the thought process, why he thought that that was a good idea. Then he posts it and he gets ratioed. He always gets ratioed. And they then he always just get ratioed. <laughs> he triples down. It is, it is wild. The, the, just like, it's like a kink at this point. It's yeah. like, they like getting ratioed. Cause it just proves, it proves their Zionism. Correct. It's like, yeah. see, people hate us. And it's like, you are scaring children. <laughs> I feel Dressing? bad for those children because that video scared me as an adult. I can't imagine being those <laughs> poor little kids. When I first saw that video, I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, it's good that, uh, you know, Zionists out there have a sense of humor. Um, he's doing that- the work of Hamas. He's doing. He really is. I mean, that's the whole thing. It's like if, you, you know, you talk about like Hamas wants to kill all the Jews of the world. And I'm just like. I don't know. The more you videos you make, the more I feel like my neighbors are going to want to kill the Jews of the world. <laughs> and that uh, does not make me feel good. It's not helping. But not helping me. But uh, yeah. So that's our Hasbara for this week. That's, that's all the... I'm glad you showed that. I'm glad you showed that. I feel like people uh, need to know. Need to, need, need to, to wrestle with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, there's a thousand places that you can get you know, news about what's happening. But here, 
sometimes I just want to play some videos for my homies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I hope that the, I hope that he keeps them coming because I know oh, somebody yeah. said that he needs to slow down because this was just very deranged. <laughs> um, but I hope that he keeps them coming. And also I hope that they keep fighting because I know that he was in a little tiff with Ben Shapiro and yeah, it's always heartbreaking to see when, you know, Zionists are having a tussle. So yeah. I hope to, I hope to keep seeing that and, but less debates for him because he's very annoying in debates. He doesn't let other people talk. He's like yeah. Alex Jones. You know, I think uh, he's about to debate Alex Jones, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll just be over here being Jones. good looking in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he <laughs> exactly. really going to yeah. like, debate him? Yeah, they're going to have a debate. I'm very excited for it. Uh, I like, and I don't give a shit about debates uh, usually, but that one I think I will watch because I want to see this like just melding of minds. I want these two complete and utter psychopaths to just yell at each other for an hour. Not, not only that, but I'm gonna, I'm wondering who's going to be the bigger interrupter because I mean, both I of think... them constantly use interruption as a tactic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But who's gonna I... win? I'm well. Everybody loses. That's the best part. <laughs> Oh no! Yes, but but who do you think is gonna out interrupt? Oh, dude, one of them's gonna die for sure. Alex Jones, he'll he'll kill over. <laughs> At some point, it seems like inevitable. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, you know, stick around. Badass Barra will definitely be covering that uh, that wonderful debate. You know, I'm just gonna the the intellectual prow prowess of these uh, total <laughs> monsters is gonna be put on display, and I'm very yes. excited for it. Yes uh blakely thank you so much for coming on where can people find you uh, find your work find your music uh my music is on spotify under just blakely um mm. my i have a youtube channel too i'm trying to to build and build up so oh, um yeah. and uh still figure out how to use Streamyard. um oh, but yeah. uh yeah so follow me there it's at i am blakely so the same handle is is on the screen right now same sure. for my tiktok i am blakely and um instagram and twitter are at underscore i am blakely and um yeah thank you so much for having me on yeah thanks for coming on and uh uh also apologies for the uh you know the the miss uh the wrong pronouns you know oh. sometimes you know sometimes <laughs> like can just don't tell your friends you know <laughs> like uh, don't tell tiktok man because like i'm trying to <laughs> You should misgender him right now. You should call him a guy. <laughs> wow. Like no. Racine, where can people find you? Uh, if you need a laugh, my special is on YouTube right now. It's called Mike Racine. I'm normal. Please give it a watch. Give me a comment, whatever. I hope you uh, enjoy it. And uh, I'll be in Chicago at Zany's Comedy Club on April 3rd. If you live there, tickets at MikeRacineComedy.com. Check out MikeRacineComedy.com. I'll check help out brother out. I'll watch it, Mike. It's a great Thanks. special. Thank it's you. it's actually really good. I think and it's I, good. It's very good. I, I, and I uh, I usually don't like uh, people's specials. Uh, mm. I like just being honest. I watch people's specials. And I've been like, watching a lot. A lot of them are crapola. Yeah, they're total trash. But th this one is actually very good. So please check it out. There'll be a link. I think if you're non-binary, I think you'll like the beginning. Oh, okay. yeah. Is there good stereotyping? No, I just um, I didn't know what to do for the intro, so I just filmed myself putting lipstick on and walking out on stage. That's the intro. Word, word. Yeah. Hell yeah! yeah. Good it just felt it just kind of it just felt right. I don't know. Yeah, you know. I yeah. bet it looks good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, check that out. There's gonna be a link. Uh, you can just click right there and start watching. It's very good. Mike Racine, thank you, Blakely. Thank you thanks. so much, and Pleasure. thanks to all of you out there who uh watching remember to go to patreon.com slash bad has and subscribe uh and then on the next episode i'm gonna you know do the shout outs for all the people who subscribed at ten dollars thank you for doing that and uh i'm also gonna shout out the people who subscribed at a hundred dollars uh, that was fucking crazy i we we, I, we have like two of those and i, I don't even know what the, at some point i, I feel weird about it because like i don't know what's expected sexual favors or yeah whatever. yeah nudes. But I'll, <laughs> nudes i'll do it i'm you know at this point i got a baby to feed um but you if you want if you want them nudes if you want to see feet go to patreon.com slash bad has barra and please uh you know fucking hundred dollars why not um all right everyone 
Thanks again so much for listening. And until next time, from the river to the sea, Michael Rappaport called me pussy. Michael Rappaport drinks pee. Hey, that does work. Jumping jacks was us. Push-ups was us. Krav Maga us. 